Hey guys, welcome to, I don't know why I'm so blue, but welcome to my Dublin vlog. Maybe I'm blue because this trip has been very disrupted. We were meant, to, well we did come yesterday obviously, I'm in a hotel room, it's the next morning. We were meant to be on the 8 o'clock flight yesterday morning, so we should have had the whole of yesterday. And the flight was delayed, 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 cancelled. We're flying Ryanair this time. And that was the other thing, like last year when we came, we had a package with BA, so if there'd been any disruption to the flight and any cancellations, we would have got our money back because they cancelled it and we would have got our hotel money back. But because we booked things separately this time, I said, during Covid, never again. But of course I did it again. But because we booked things separately this time, I was absolutely panicking. I was like, we'll get the money back on the flights, presumably because they've cancelled them. But we were going to have to pay the hotel. The hotel was cancelable up to 24 hours before, so the morning off was no use. Oh, well, there we go. I'm coming into true to life colour now. A little tip for you, if you're flying Ryanair, have the app. We had printed our boarding passes, so I hadn't bothered with the app. But because the flight was cancelled, you had to reschedule in the app or request your refund if that's what you wanted to do and by the time i had got the app downloaded everyone who was on our flight that had been cancelled most of them had managed to get onto the 1240 which would have obviously been the preferable flight to be rebooked onto so that one was full but i got us on the 620 but the disruptions that obviously we had been caught up in yesterday morning went on all day so although the flight was at 6 20 it didn't actually leave glasgow until near our half seven so by the time we got here last night it was like half nine so we basically just went straight to bed i did get my chinese first it was probably a waste of money because i was we'd been up since half four like we were zombies by this point because we just had to stay at the airport at that point like it wasn't really enough time to leave and come back and we'd have been charged twice for the car parking and everything so we were like well We'll really for the sake of what we would achieve in going home we'll just stay but it was a long long day so we were so dead last night so I got my Chinese ate about a third of it and went to sleep but it was excellent it was really excellent So we've now got, instead of two days in Dublin, we get picked up for, oops, somebody's going by outside, we'll move away from the window. So yeah, instead of two days in Dublin, um, we get picked up tonight to go back to the airport at half past six. It is about 11 o'clock because my gran has no haste in the mornings. We were exhausted to be fair, but yeah, she just would not move this morning. But anyway, so we've got like six hours in Dublin basically so let's go make the most of them. Just before I go so obviously we slept in the bed so they don't look as pristine as they did but this is our room so we're staying in the Rio Gresham this time. There we are. So this is the bathroom. Sink, loo, beautiful toiletries. Yeah, I would really recommend it. The room has been absolutely great. It was £200 a night, so this was one of the more budget-friendly ones. That was partly why we did book things separately, because packages for Dublin this year were so, so expensive. We've ended up, we booked a checked-in case, which does cost you more with Ryanair, but yeah, this has worked out for the two of us to come for one night. It has been about £400 for the room and the flights and the checked in case so it has been quite expensive especially for what has now come down to six hours although it's been quite expensive for what it is this is one of the more budget hotels and yeah it's been absolutely great we had breakfast this morning which was lovely and it's right across the road from the gpo which is my favorite thing that i did the last time i came and i feel like people don't talk about the gpo i feel like people are going to the guinness factory and everything but I don't really hear people talking about the GPO, which was definitely my favourite museum thing that I did last year. So really recommend that. And this hotel is ideally situated for that. But anyway, I need to go make the most of what time I do have in Dublin. So let's get out of this lovely as it has been hotel room. So we're just walking down from the hotel. So that's the GPO on the right there, which is my favourite thing I did last time. And then the Chinese that I got last night is down this street, it's the Exan Street Food. I'm going to go into the G Fuel Museum shop. There was a print I didn't buy last year that I'm still thinking about. Can you hear that? I love 
sounds ridiculous, but I really love the sounds of the the crossings in Dublin. I feel like they sound like something out of Star Wars. But yeah, I'm gonna head into the the GPO museum shop and then we'll go down into the south of the city. So obviously I've just had to come into the actual post office and look at the Christmas display. Oh, it's so cute. And then they've made this huge effort on this side as well. Look at the, so the Christmas trees all decorated with like post boxes. So cute. After we finished at the GPO, we headed down to the Powers Court townhouse so that I could go to Chupi to collect my new jewellery. Look at the Christmas tree! <gasps> they didn't have a Christmas tree last year. They had a beautiful Christmas tree and they used some old jewellery pieces as decoration, so it was absolutely stunning. After we finished in Chupi, we exited the townhouse via the florist. They always have the most beautiful things and I'm always a bit sad that I can't take any of them home. Then it was time to head for lunch. Now we were heading to the Winding Stair, which was somewhere that I went when I went to Dublin last year. It was actually my favourite meal that I had. If I'm totally honest, like on the way there, I was kind of not regretting it, but I was thinking like I would have rather just had a meltdown cheese sandwich, which had been the plan for Friday, which obviously we lost, rather than losing the time of having like a proper sit down lunch because it was going to take a good like hour and a bit out of our day. But as much as I was thinking that on the way there, once I actually got my Christmas lunch, I was very, very pleased with it and thoroughly enjoyed it. So as much as it wasn't ideal to take that much time out of what had turned into a very time restricted trip, I very much enjoyed eating it and would really recommend this restaurant if you are visiting Dublin. We took the obligatory swing by the Temple Bar, headed up Grafton Street again. One of the things I was a little gutted about was that we weren't going to see the Grafton Street lights in the dark because we had other things to do before we had to head off. So the plan had obviously been that we would have been there on the Friday and seen them, but we didn't get to. So I was a little bit sad about that. But I cheered myself up by going to Offbeat Donuts and picking up some donuts for the way home. Then we headed across the bridge again, many crossings of the bridge on this trip. We went to Butler's, I got a candy cane hot chocolate and apparently I took a picture of the sign but not the hot chocolate itself. But if you're in the area before the Christmas specials finish, the candy cane hot chocolate was excellent. Then we wandered by Arnott's, they had this super cute window with these letters to Santa. And that was it basically, it was time to head to the airport. So we're at the airport and we're going to eat our offbeat donuts, if I can get them open. There we are, so I have got the Christmas gingerbread, the Christmas red velvet and the lemon meringue and we'll just split them between us because this is the sort of dinner you have at the airport. And that was it, it was time to bid Dublin adieu for another little while. I am hoping to get back in summer. There's a couple of day trips I really want to do that I think would be better done in nicer weather so I'm hoping to get back for a slightly longer holiday next time and do a few day trips and things so fingers crossed that works out. As much as this trip was cut short it was short but sweet it was a lovely time. Dublin is a beautiful city and I really enjoyed myself for the few hours that I did end up getting so thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.